My father died without saying goodbye. Tell me what am I supposed to do? We are here for you. We all miss him, but life goes on my friend. We will never leave you, I promise to never let you down. Mr. Anthony was a good man and father to you and he loved us too. Cheer up, you have to go visit your brother. Send our condolences to him too. Cheer up my friend. My brother would be so sad, he loved our father so much. Just like you did. I know, this is really hard. Yes it is, exactly. Hobbit please take heart, we will be leaving now. We will call you every day. Thank you. Such a sad story. Dave, I feel sorry for the boys. We should always check in on them. This is the time to let them know that we are here for them. Hobbit. Thanks for coming Vicky. Little brother, I am so sorry. What are we going to do? I am here for you. We will get through this. Auntie, thank you for calling me. It's okay, Hobbit. We are family. Never forget. Yes. I want to say a big thank you to everyone for coming. I, my brother and my wife are truly grateful. Brother, it is one week after Dad's funeral. I think it is time for us to share his property so that I can go on with my life and pursue my dreams. Yes, you are right. It is indeed one week after Dad's funeral. It is time for me to tell your father's dying wish. Father had a dying wish. I feel so sad that I wasn't there when Dad took his last breath. He always wanted me to challenge myself, but he is not here to congratulate me. I congratulate you, and I am sure wherever Dad is, he is so proud of you. Tell me brother, what did father say? Before dad died, he handed a letter to me. In the letter, was instructions of how his property will be shared. He also left a copy of this same letter to his attorney. I don't know if both letters are exactly the same but in mine, he said your portion of his property should be given to you after three years. That is, when you clock 30. That can't be true, you are lying. How can you say that? I don't have any reason to tell lies. The letter is in my bedroom. I don't believe you, you have every reason to lie to me. Let me see the letter. Honey, please get the letter. Okay. Everything in the letter was written by your father Hobbit. Your brother is not lying. I don't believe this. Father couldn't have written this. He was the one that told me to go on a challenge so I can be proud of my accomplishments. There is no way he would ever withhold what is rightfully mine but gives yours to you. Lower your tone, Hobbit. I am not talking to you. Can I speak with my brother without you interfering? Be careful, don't talk to my wife like that. You made dad write that, I know it like I know the back of my palm. You are wicked. Look, whether you like it or not, you must give me my potion of inheritance. Don't think that I don't know your plan. You want to keep everything for yourself and give my part to your wife and her family. It will never work for you. By hook or crook, I will get what is rightfully mine. I am leaving now, when I come back, be ready to give me what is rightfully mine. I will do what father wants me to do. When you turn 30, I myself will give it to you. Don't try me, both of you, don't try me. Remember when I told you that you were too soft with your brother? Yes. The result is starting to happen. Hobbert, I called you here to talk with you about the situation on ground. Please I don't want you to think or see me as a wicked brother. Are you not? No, I am not wicked my brother, I am only following our late father's wishes. I am going out, can I get some money? At the moment, I don't have any money. I spent all my savings on dad's funeral. I didn't expect anything less from you. That is how you have always been, you are so wicked. I will get what is rightfully mine. Hobbert. Don't call me wicked please. Honey, don't you think it is time for you to correct your brother's attitude towards you? And how am I supposed to do that? A slap will reset his brain. Since he thinks is a grown adult, a slap will cut his tail and put him in his place. No. No matter what, Hobbert is my baby brother. 
he will be fine. I am telling you what to do, but you are blinded by your ignorance. I can handle him, Hobbert is not a threat. He's just angry, he will be fine. How can this happen to me? All my plans are shattered. There is no way I will let this slide. I will do whatever it takes to get what is rightfully mine. Hey Hobbit. Jen, I was coming to your house. How are you holding up Hobbit? Things aren't good at home. That is why I was coming to meet you. It is about what we discussed on the phone. I see. So what do you want to do? I told you I had a link that can help you but you turned it down. I am ready. I will do it. Wise decision. Good thinking. Honey, last night I had that bad dream again, it was terrible. If you become the herbalist you so much dream to be, calamity will befall us. Serve the Lord, he is the true God and stop this idol worshipping. No calamity will befall us, listen, though I am a herbalist, I worship Almighty God. The giver and taker of life. Listen to me dear, light and darkness cannot be together. Stop putting our lives in danger, I am warning you. The next time I have this dream, I will take my children and leave. Maybe that is when you will come back to your senses. Daddy, I think you should listen to mom. I think so too, dad. What brings you here, young man? Before you speak, take off your shoes. Do you not know the land on which you are standing on? This is a holy ground. I am sorry, sir. Go ahead. I am here because of my brother. Go on. After our father's death, my brother has been spending my inheritance without giving me a penny. He buys expensive things and spends all our money on his wife. I want you to kill him. Never use such words in this shrine. I don't kill nor afflict the innocent. I don't understand. I was told that you are the best among all the other herbalists. I may be the best, but I don't kill or afflict evil on the innocent. Listen, your brother means you well. Say no to bad influences and friends that are deceiving you. Go back and make up with your brother so that you can have peace. If a native doctor can give such advice, then why can't I advise myself? Why did I even think of doing such a thing to my brother? I am ashamed of myself.